You can fool others, but can you fool yourself? There was once a man who was extremely rich. God had blessed his house with money, wives, and slaves. But the blessing was like an excess of rain to the farmer, who spoils the crop instead of making it grow. For the rich man had no child. However much he tried, all was in vain. For his wives would not conceive from morning to evening. Now as the man was getting old, he became very unhappy. Should slaves inherit his property, he thought. Should he leave no child behind to lay him in his grave? In the end, he thought of a trick. He entrusted his property to his head slave. He packed his calabashes and baskets and he set out for another town. He settled down in the new town under a different name and as soon as he could, he bought a young slave woman who had just given birth to a child. He brought the child up like his very own son and when he was seven years old, he disposed of the mother and returned home. He told everybody that the mother who had borne his child had died. There was great rejoicing among his friends for they believed that at last he had an heir. The child grew up to be a young man and his father established a trade for him. For years they lived very happily together. But their happiness was built on a lie. Like a road that is constructed on swampy ground. And lies are like bats. As long as they are kept in the dark, they elude everybody silently and swiftly. But when exposed to the light of the day, they hang stupid and defenseless. For anybody to see and pick up, and they appear like the ugliest creatures on earth. Now one day, the son said to his father, Father, let us count our slaves, for we have so many of them that we would hardly notice if one of them ran away. Now the father got very worried about this ambition of his son. No wise man will disturb the soldier of ants when they pass through his house. Once confused, they will swarm all over his property, causing destruction. Leave the slaves alone, for when the slaves are counted, they shall be sad. And the rich man was afraid of his own son, but he knew not how to help him. For when we see a man sleep walking on top of a roof, we dare not wake him, for we know that he will crash down. The son would not heed his father's advice, and early next morning he assembled all the slaves, and he called his father to have them counted. At last the father had to agree to the counting. But who can describe the horror of the son when he found himself to be the first man counted? That day the son wept bitterly and he beat his head and threw himself to the ground. But not even his father could help him now. No hen will ever hatch a broken egg. And the truth that is once spoken cannot be taken back. Like the water of a river that never passes the same place twice. The rich man died after that of a broken heart. Because we can fool the world for a long time. But no one, no one is clever enough to fool himself.